All right, now let's look at least common multiple. Now, way back when, you know the least common multiple is for something, you'd have to take the multiples of this. You'd have to go 28, and then you'd have to, the next one would be 56, and then the next one after that, and the next one after that, and you're gonna find out which one, after doing this over and over again, so 28, and then you'd go 56, and then you'd go something else, and then something else, and something else, and something else, and you'd keep on going, and then you would take the 42, and you would go, okay, that's 84, and then something else, and something else, and something else, and something else. Then you would take the 63, and you go, okay, well, that's 126, and then the next one, and something else, and something else. And then once one of them matches, you know that that is your lowest common multiple. What a horrendous waste of time. Oh, my goodness, this is just gross. I'm going to show you a way that is absolutely revolutionary. This is going to absolutely boggle your mind. And it's based on, guess what? Yup, factor trees. This is the coolest thing ever. Okay, let's start with 28. 28, you know, is 2 and 14. So that works out to be 2 times 2 times 7. Okay, pull out 42. 42 is 2 times 21, which is 2 times 7 times 3. That's easy enough to do. 63, check this out, okay? 63 is 9 times 7, which is 3 times 3 times 7. Now, you're looking for the lowest common multiple, which is the smallest number shared by the terms, by multiples. Okay, wait a second. How are we going to do this? It's called the lineup method. Watch this and get ready to be totally freaked out by this. I'm going to take the first number, which is 28. I'm going to write it out as my prime factors. But watch how I write this. I know this is a 2 here. I know there's another 2 here. And I know that there's a 7 way over here. Now, you're probably saying, well, why would I write the 7 way over there? You'll see in a second. Watch this one. This is now 42. 42 has a 2 in it. Great. I'm going to line it up right underneath this. So all my first twos are going to line up. I notice it also has a three in it. Well, it doesn't match this guy over here. So that's why I put the break in here. So I put a break and put three here. See what I'm doing? And then look, my seven matches up. So in other words, I'm just kind of separating these guys by some spaces. And you're going to see something freaky right away. Here comes the 63. Same idea. 63 is 3 times 3 times 7. Well, notice there's no 2, okay? There's no second 2. There's a 3 that lines up perfectly here, and another 3 that has no other line up here, and it has finally the 7 over here. Now, look what you get. This is the cool part. Because you lined them up so beautifully, right? Since you lined them up so beautiful, check it out. That is going to be a 2. That is, doesn't connect with anybody, so you need it. It's going to be a 2. That is going to be your 3. That connects with nobody, but you still need it. There's a 3. And that connects, guess what, your 7. Guess what? If you multiply all of those things together, there's your lowest common multiple. 2 times 2 is 4. 3 times 3 is 9 times 7, whip out the old calculator here, there it is, 4 times 9 times 7, clear, 4 times 9 times 7, and your lowest common, common multiple is 252, 252 is your lowest common multiple, that's how this lineup method works. So much easier than going 28, uh, 56, uh, da, 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 and finally getting to 252. But if you look at 42, same thing, 42, 84, blah, 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 will eventually get to 252. And then 63 to 126, blah, 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 will eventually get to 252. And that is your lowest common multiple. That's why the lineup method works. Now, you're probably saying, oh, gosh, I need to see another one. Okay, right there. 20, 36, and 38. Use the lineup method. First things first, 
break it down. You know 20 is 4 times 5. You know 4 is 2 times 2 times 5. So let's write out 20. 20 here equals to 2 times 2. And then let's put the 5 somewhere over here, just in case there's numbers in between. Break down the 36. Well, that's easy. That's 6 times 6. That's 2 times 3. That's 2 times 3. Okay, so here comes 36. There's one of the 2s here, lined up perfectly. It looks after this guy. We need one more 2, which lines up here. Great, that's gotten rid of this guy. And I need two 3s in the middle. A 3 and a 3 here, and that's taken care of all of the factors. Now, let's do the last one. The last one, of course, is 38. All right, 38 is divisible by 2. That's 2 and 19. Aha, uh -huh. that's it. 38 can't be divisible by anything else. 2 and 19. So here we go. 38, this equals 2. There's a 2, lines them all up. And way the heck over here, you have to put a 19. Look at that. We're going to put this way the heck out here. Now, they're all lined up. So here we go. Ready? This is the best part. Your first number is a 2. Your next number is a 2. Your next number is in fact a three. Your next number is a three. Your next number is a five. And your last number is a 19. Multiply all those guys together. Let's bring up our calculator. Here we go. Two times two is four. Three times three is nine. So four times nine times five times 19. And your lowest common multiple is 3,420. 3,420. Could you imagine if you had to do this the old multiple way? 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, blah, blah. That's just a waste of time. Line up method, baby. That's where it's at. That's where it works nicest. And boy, once you get the hang of this, it's so easy.